Yes. Please tell me, congratulations first of all. Thank you. How many awards did uh, uh, Supermodel win? Tonight? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not actually not sure about the exact number. I think it was about six of them. About six? Yeah. Uh, now, six awards. you're in the winning because you did what? You yes, I was, yes, I was uh, one of the four uh, screenwriters involved in the production um, and I was the head writer and I wrote with um, Silas uh, Miami, Wanjari Kekuru and Kamau Wandongo. No. Based, based on an idea by Likari and Wainaina. Yes, yes, that must have been not easy. It wasn't, no, you, you, you're right, it wasn't easy at all. I mean, for collective writing is not Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it's it's not. It's it's productive, but it's 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 difficult because it takes a while before you get to the productive part of it. Um, so as you're finding your space, as everyone is trying to get the ideas together, everyone imagines a different sort of film. So trying to get everyone within the same state of mind. And then having everyone, you know, um, submit their, their bits on time, compiling everything, correcting everything, endless hours of conversations, all the different points of view. That's part of the whole thing about making the film. Wasn't it effectively five people? Because it was his idea? Yes, he had written the original idea. He wrote a treatment for it. He wasn't involved in the actual writing of the film. Um, he did get to weigh in a lot every time we submitted a new draft. Uh-huh. And he would talk about what was not working. So, uh-huh. you know, before we came up with a draft five, for instance, we'd come, we'd come up with a draft four, and then 4.1, and then 0.2, 0.3, 0.4, we'd go up to 0.7 or 8. And those are little tiny mini versions, and then we'd have a new draft like the draft five. So, now what kept you going? The fact that the job has to be done. Um, but you were committed. Yeah, no, absolutely. And we had no choice because, uh, you know, how the whole One Fine Day, um, Ginger, Ginger Inc. Uh, films things works. How One Fine Day works is that they have mentors. Yeah. And because the mentors are coming in from other countries, uh-huh. you know, the moment they say we're commissioning this script, by the point we were writing draft one, uh-huh. tickets had already been booked for the people who are going to be coming to film. <laughs> Um, a lot of a lot of the equipment is booked way in advance, so we really have no choice but to finish up a script and have it ready before everyone comes in, so that they have something to work with. Now let me just ask: if I know they call you a mentee, but to what extent did they uh, uh, get involved in the script writing process? They don't do any of the writing. The mentors don't do any of the writing, we do the writing. Uh-huh. Uh, what happens is they will weigh in on the versions or the scripts or the treatments or the pages that we present. Uh, they have a say in um, this is working, this is not working. They'll ask lots of questions about where are you trying to go with this? Or they'll point out our blind spots. And usually the blind spots are going to be many because we're right in the middle of it. So they're the ones that are able to step back and tell us um, if you do this, we do that. If you do this, maybe that will work. Or how about this character does this? How about this character does that? Sometimes they'll even tell us things about our scripts that are working that we wrote in there subconsciously. Uh, uh, for instance, uh, the directing mentor, um, if you get to watch the film, yeah, uh, point, I have. Um, I love it. <laughs> thank you. Um, and the people viewing your channel, um, uh, there's a scene where uh, Joe, the little girl, yeah. uh, is in hospital yeah. and she's with um, her her friend. Yes, yes. And um, they watch they watch her sister coming into the ward and seeing all these kids looking sick and she's all scared. And um, Joe says to her friend, no, her friend says to her, um, no, she says to her friend, you know, they don't get it, do they? And her friend says, it's up to you to show them. And, you know, we wrote that line as a sort of, um, by the it really, yeah, it was, it, exactly, it was a by the by line. But um, the directing mentor said, this is where your story begins, because that is where she's given her mission. And her mission is to show the grown-ups that this sickness and this disease and this thing that's actually killing her is not going to stifle her. And that is really where the film begins. So we had never seen it that way. And that really set us on the course to make sure that we were answering the question that we'd set up at the beginning without knowing. Wow. Yeah. So this is a real breakthrough in your experience today. Yes, it is. It is. It, it really... 
it really is. It, it was. You, been, you were an actor, you're a comedian, <laughs> so many things, but. Have you been a scriptwriter before? Uh, no, no, for a film, no, not before Katikati. Uh -huh. So yeah, so I had the chance to co-write on Katikati with Ndithi, to co-write uh, for Supermodo. And now, uh, before then I'd written for the stage and TV. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, and before then I hadn't written at all. So um, it's, well, it's wonderful. Are you going to Los Angeles? If we get nominated, yes. Yes, 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 absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Well, yeah. I, I wish you all the best. Thank you, Margarita. And I hope to see you with an Oscar in hand. Uh,